what's up guys today we are reacting to weathering waves a game being made by kuro games and whom is the creator of pgr or punishing gray raven that being said as i and the 3d animator we are going to be reacting to the animations combat and compare them that being said let's get straight into it all right you ready chat here we go so the first trailer we got on k or on key who knows what she sounds like so she's basically what we call a catalyst summon user right she's basically or a mage caster or a uh, range user for simple terms that being said in my opinion she looks super well designed i love her animations see her whole point is her being cute and angry and crazy right i really love her design also this ui i really love this ui after all it's very well done it's very graphical pleasing to the eyes which is very important as you can see right here she's got some auto animations it looks super cute right now would i ever play this character ever no i usually play mommy only and what do you know she's got a naruto run and she's running up the wall that's so great also she's fully covered by the way so uh yeah those are some nice stats and shorts very well covered fully covered down there all right so this right here this is what i'm looking for in a tech demo I want to see lighting and reflections on the building, right? So some of the mistakes you see right here is the lighting on the outside. Like, you notice how dull it looks from far away. So this is pretty much the limitations, what you have to go for for mobile. But so this right here, the lighting colors of the building. There's dark light, light light from the sunlight, and there's some weird lights happening too. That being said, I really love the color layout of the city. This is what I'm looking for for a tech demo showcasing the land while they're traveling around by the way did y'all see the hook shot hanging around holy crap i really love that this shot right here this mechanic right here this right here this is beautiful this is very difficult to animate right putting yourself see all the motion on the on the design you have to create a certain amount of colliders to make that flow properly but yeah, I can see, I can see it is still a tech demo. Not much movement is happening to her hair or anything. So they will eventually have to fix that. So other than that, let's look at her gameplay. Yeah. So her gameplay, she goes in the first mode and then she does more damage. Right? So that's pretty much her entire gameplay. So in terms of animation, she does have what we call a particle effect simulator. Simulation, so basically you don't see what's happening you just, you just do right so this right this gameplay right here is basically what we call uh hide as much as you can just have fun with it mash buttons and you're doing stuff type deal right it's simpler terms right technically there's no technical form for that like flashy gameplay there's no term for that he's basically physically made for casual gamers this character design is made for casual gamers. By the way, the spell circles, I really love spell circles. If there's one thing that's not used enough, is spell circles. I hope they design giant spell circles. I really wish to see giant spell circles. So, uh, in terms of combat-wise, what I'm seeing is a lot of uh, dashing. I love this animation, by the way. The whole uh, angry cry and frustration type feel. Look to it. It's like the Nier Amada, right? When the Nier Amada, when A2 goes like Berserk mode. It's like a Berserk mode. By the way, nice music choice. Music's kind of loud. Okay, it's lower down the music a little bit. By the way, the sound effects, pretty well done. I really love the sound effects. I love the summon animations, and it's super difficult to design that. But right? animating those summons to make it revolve around your character, usually we call that aura design, right? You create an aura, and then you create like stuff for that, right? This part right here, a good example of aura designing. So like you make you create something that circulates in an aura around a person, and then you just like that's your that's pretty much like a trigger event circle thing. All right, so as you see the gear wise, she has a memory system, skill system and all that. But that's the memory system or Sigmana system or artifact system. So I love, I love, I really love the UI here. It changes and stuff. It's different for each character from my understanding. So I'm assuming she's fire. 
for Paro. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoy her design. I think her design is a 9 out of 10. She's probably one of the best design characters in the game because uh, she looks super cute and very well done. And yeah, the whole running animation for the little girls. I'm, I, I'm fine with this running animation. It's really good. The run cycle is really good. Also, do y'all see the crawling and climbing motion? That, that right there, that's really good. That's very well animated, smooth transition. From point A to the crouching to the climbing, point B getting on top and standing back up. It's very well animated. That right there probably costs like $200,000. Just right there, just that animation point. The amount of time it took, the amount of people that cost. So in case you don't know what animators have to go through, so there's an animator, collider, there's a rigger, and then there's the director, and then there's the CGI version, which is made for trailers and stuff, right? And then there's the, uh, there's usually different animator teams, right? Combat, idle animations, and that. Sometimes you, if you don't have enough money, you can't hire another person. Sometimes you have one person make one, the entire thing or the entire animations. That being said, let's move on to the next character. All right, so this next character, we got Yang Yang or Yang Yang. I don't know what's her actual official name is going to be. I'm assuming it's one of those two. Yang Yang or Yang Yang. That being said, let's check it out. First things first, she's basically probably going to be your starting character. Your starting heroine character. And I think she's very beautiful. I love the hairstyle. It's very bushy. I really love bushy hairstyles. Sadly, they're not very appeasing to a lot of people. So we're going to, look, we're going to go straight into the first boss fight of the game. And we're going to talk about the boss fight a little bit. So now, as a um, animator design team, if I was designing a boss, it has to be easy, right? Especially the first boss. All right, quick view of the animation. I love the spinning tech. So it all makes sense. When you're animating action scenes, it has to make sense. You see, she's spinning around to create momentum, right? Creating momentum in a swing is very important. See how long it took to do that jump strike attack? It, it took like, there, there is literally a wind up time, which I really love. Very beautiful, very well done. Oh, cat, what are you asking? This combat is way better than Genshin. It's way faster. Uh, in my eyes, the combat's the same speed. Between Genshin and Genshin and PGR, the combat's the same speed. The only difference between Genshin is that Genshin has a lot of uh, cinematography shots, right? There's a lot of pausing, but you can literally design a team in Genshin and play just like this. Literally, I call it Team j -Bit. j -Bit is the team you would put together. All right, so this, let's rewind this, watch the entire boss fight. So let's talk about the boss fight design. So when you play action games, most people care about boss designs or math, right? That's usually the end game, right? People care about this way too much, right? Personally, I hate doing, I hate analyzing this stuff because like people care about math, people care about boss designs, how it should it be hard or should it be easy, right? My biggest take on this, do you design a game for 7 million people or do you design a game for 3 million people, right? 3 million people is the hardcore gamer or the design for 7 million people for the casual gamers. Right? Which is the better? Which is the, you choose the better poison. Alright, so as for the boss design, this boss design is made as a tutorial boss. So, how do you create a tutorial boss? Very slow, very telegraph animated attacks. So, let's count how much is the global time cooldown. So, in case when you design a boss fight, a boss has a global cooldown time before they do their next attack, right? This how this creates a uh, difficulty. It's a way to create difficulty and ease, right? And make it easier for the players. So it's not what we call BS mechanics or try hard mechanics, right? So let's count how many, how long it takes for the boss to do the next attack. We start from the beginning. Okay. Okay. One. Two, three, four. Okay, so it's about three to four seconds, right? That's pretty average. Of Kuro, Kuro game, that's pretty average. Three to four seconds of global cooldown time for bosses. See how long that takes? Okay, so 
see how long it takes for the boss attack. It's about three to four seconds. Right here, this is what we call a fully uh, six seconds. The average is six seconds. It, it's for it's good for the players to rest and take your bearings. It's good for casual gamers. All right, I love that dodging. That dodging sound effect is very well done. Uh, this parry, this parry mechanic is not really a parry in a way, more of a counter. It's a counter mechanic, what I call counter stand. I call it counter, counter stand. I love the uh, animation. The walking animation is so well done. Uh, that, that, that's definitely a tech demo. I guarantee that's going to be replaced. What you just saw there is going to be replaced. That is a, that is a placeholder, what I just saw. Are you, this combat is way better than Genshin. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, are you talking about big numbers? Or are you talking about the way it plays, the way it looks? I guarantee you it looks way better in terms of combat design, but the, they, they both play a completely different game, right? This game's more about combos, for Genshin Impact's more about uh, bigger numbers, right? Bigger numbers, not so much about combos. You can play Genshin at a fast pace. The problem is, it's not optimal, right? Genshin falls what we call a power creep number simulator, or what we call DPS Impact. Which is the, uh, the common uh, meme for the Genshin Impact. This game, Puro Games designer games around long fights and long combos, right? And very meticulous technical gameplay, right? There's, there's no, you can wail in this game and do more damage, clear the fights faster, but you're not gonna one shot. There's no one shotting. Also, by the way, this walk animation, I love their walk cycle here. It's very beautiful. For, for the girls, it's very beautiful. Let's look at that. Let's look at the walk cycle. This walk cycle animation, very well done. So the way she walks, you move your hips in a weird way. And she's she's doing the model walk, right? You see her feet crossing her feet? This is what we call the model walk. Crossing your feet across the other turn. If you try doing this in real life, it's actually really hard to do this in real life. Right? You cannot walk like this normally in real life. It's it's really difficult. It gets very tiring. It will work a lot of your dive muscles and everything. Very beautiful. Okay, so this is the animation. See how that's momentum based? She spins and then she creates momentum. See that wind up time? That's how you know there's a good anime. That's how you know it's a good dev, a good animator. That wind up time, that split second wind up time, it's the same amount of time compared to the other times. Let's look at it again. I love the hair feathers. That must have been hell to animate though. Great finish, great look. I love that. This, this entire animation makes sense. She's spinning her body to create momentum to create the slash and stuff. That right there is just a, what we call magic attack. So you go do whatever you want. Create this, that's your creativity. What do you think about floating weapons? Uh, by design, it's the best way to create freedom and prevent colliding with the hair. Okay, let's look. Let's, okay, so we know it's a tech demo. We're here to find issues with the game. All right, so when she puts out the sword. Hang on, when she puts out the sword. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's a good way to swear it does not collide with the hair. It does not clip in her hair. See, look how far separation that floating sword is. Look how far that is. That's really far, right? Uh, this game is pretty common in like uh, PSO2. This is, they were pretty much the pioneers of having the weapon floating behind your back so that, and you are able to adjust it so that it does not clip into, her, into your character, right? I don't, I love this design. This allows freedom for like a hair. It prevents clipping. 
right? That's literally the whole functionality of the floating weapons designed for as a uh, sheath. It's very important. <laughs> I won't lie, it reminds me of PSO2 at uh, the uh the shadow shadow uh I, I forgot what I Phantom. The Phantom class. It literally it's literally the Phantom class. Almost the same color scheme. It's so funny. It's blue and black. I, I guarantee you this was part of the inspiration of it too. Some of the action moves. That stab move is definitely a phantom move. It's amazing. All right, so next character, we're going to go for uh, Chixia. I'm very amazed on her asset. She's very large. All right, so this is the second boss part, from my understanding. So this is level 60. She plays like Hero. Class from PSO, PSO2, she literally plays like Hero. So slide animation and that dog slide animation is literally the hero before mechanic. Uh, what do you think about the game system going not using the ping system? Um, what do I think about that? The ping system from TDR, they got rid of it here. Uh, it's, for, it's to appeal to casual gamers. I thought it was good. Make it easier for casual gamers to play the game. This game kind of makes it look generic without the ping system. Uh, that's true. It's like every other action game. I will say the sound effect. Here's what sells the sound. This is what this is what sells Kuro again. The sound effect. The sound effect. Whoever's the sound team for Kuro games, I give them props. They know what they want their weapon sounds to sound like. The high pitch metal clanging plastic sound is very well done. Lee gun sound sounds better than that. Uh, yeah, Lee gun sound sounds really good from PGR. I see the crows, by the way. Starball. All right, so this boss fight. Okay. In case you didn't know, the boss fight. This this is a second boss fight. So when you design a boss harder, what you do? You make him do more combos. The first boss fight, he only does one attack every three to four seconds, right? This boss fight, he does two attacks. Every three to four side every three to four seconds. So technically, this boss is 100 two times much harder now, right? Technically, so that's what we call progression and boss design, right? So for casual gamers, they have to learn the boss mechanics, right? So when you appeal to casual gamers, you have to make it easy. For hardcore gamers, this boss is super easy for a lot of people, right? For a lot of well, a lot not a lot of people. Technically, three million people, right? Based on 10 million people, I guarantee you 7 million people we will have a hard time with this boss. Right? 3 million people would not. The double, that delay attack is a very common Dark Souls type move, right? Delay attack is what gets people to He specifically designed delay attack because that's how you make the game harder. There's only certain a few ways to make the game harder. I will get props to Kuro Games. The single character boss fight is not too bad. It's not bad. It's okay, right? It reminds me of Vindictus a lot, right? You only spam like three things, and that's it. Right? That's the that's the game. That's the entire gameplay. You spam three things or three or four things, that's it. This animation is much more fluid than Lee's, from what I remember. I don't remember what Lee actually looks like. I have to look back. I, I'm gonna do another video reaction of PGR animation. And I actually have the game that I played the game, so it'd be good. It's also a good time to do that video too. So she is a fire user. Seeing the UI, look at that fire little flames coming out. So she is a fire user. Good. I love the UI. It's so pleasing to the eyes. It's so much better than Genshin. I love the Genshin's UI because uh, the animation for Genshin is very good, but the, the colors, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the color scheme. Like, like the color elements. Yo, we can see under her skirt. 
Thank you. Thanks for the show. Thanks. He's wearing fully spats. Yo, this outfit, this environment. I don't see anybody posting this environment on videos. I want to react to this environment. I love the lighting here. It's done a good job. I really love the lighting here. See the reflections on the stairs? Very well done. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm going to see the reflections. Give me the reflections on the stairs. Okay. I have reflections on the stairs. This is what I'm looking for in the tech demo. I think that's really well done. So the light is coming from above, up from the top right. So it's hitting, see that ledge? It's creating the shadows on the ledges, and then it's creating the lighting right there. That's, that's, that's what I'm looking for in the tech demo. As an animator, I want to see my characters, what, are they, what they look like in environments, right? Usually most animators, they don't see the environments, and that usually you get a lot of action games. Where their characters look good, but they don't they don't match the environments, right? That's the one thing Genshin Impact does right. The characters match the environments. They look good in an environment environments, right? They don't stick out. A lot of anime games have a problem with this where they just stick out. They don't look good in environments. This looks well done. I love it. Yeah. Alright, All next right. character we got Sanwa. A ice katana user. Look at that. That's very that's pretty that's pretty. Okay, in terms of character design, she's very uh, PGR generic. This is very common in PGR. A lot of blacks, a lot of grays. I love the spin move of the Katana. Every single one of these moves makes sense. She does a backstab into a kick out. That, that makes 100% sense. I love that. It's very fluid. Animation is lack impact. I think the sound effect is slightly worse than PGR. Uh, this is a tech demo. It's a tech demo. Okay, so what is a tech demo? A tech demo is proof that the game exists and they're, they're, they're just giving us do whatever we want, right? It's not it's not meant to be polished. And if you consider this polished, I see a lot of problems already in this game already. I'm just not going to talk about it. As an animator, as an animator, I see a lot of problems. There's a lot of uh, animation issues I see, like the clippings and stuff. Uh, but nobody really noticed it. Nobody really noticed it. In action, nobody really noticed it. I see it. I'm an animator. I see everything in like in 120 FPS. That's literally us animator eyes. That spin and move, very well done. Very well fluid, and it makes sense. It's not about being flashy, it's about making sense. I love Kuro Games for this. It makes sense. Alright, this mechanic right here, the blinking light, that's get, that's definitely gonna be changed. That's not gonna happen. They're gonna they're gonna have to change that. That looks super annoying to a casual eye. So it looks like she doesn't really have a parry mechanic. Okay, she does have a counter dodge mechanic. Okay, so that's the difference between her and Yang Yang. She has a counter dodge mechanic move. See right there, that's a dodge counter, but that's that exactly what that is. Dodge counter mechanic. Yang Yang does not have that. Like when I saw Yang Yang. Over Yang Yang. She literally looks like Virgil Gameplay. I'll, I'll show you who has the perfect game. I think Yang Yang's more virtual gameplay, except with that fairy. Beautiful to watch though. So she has a dodge counter move, so that's her turn. Difference between her and Yang Yang. They're both different elements, so that's good Where's the men in this game? I don't play games without men. Well, man, there is men in this game. I only play games for mommies. <laughs> yeah, I don't really play males at all in games anymore. I think the reason why is because, like, it's not fun anymore. I think we have too many games like that. For males to be playable we don't have we technically we don't have enough waifu action games that's my biggest thing right if you want to play male action game go play dmc right literally 
or go play Metal Gear Rising. Literally the two most alpha male games you can play and you can just replay it. There won't be a better game like those two franchise. Metal Gear Rising and DMC franchise. So there, there'll be no gacha game that could beat male action games than those two games. That's my take on that. Also, oh, oh god, Senfua. So she said athletic body type. I love her, I love her body type, athletic body type. So she has like a, she's like a triangle hour. She's like an hourglass. She looks like an hourglass. I love this back. Oh, by the way, let's take a look at this. I love this. Oh no, oh no. I want to see their... Okay, this snowflake thing, I love this UI. This is so good. I love this UI. The snowflakes, it changes. It's such a nice color. It's so, it's so appealing to my, I, this is my favorite aesthetics, right? Simplicity with a little part of this particle effects. Uh, only thing I hate about the black background is, I think it's a little dead inside. I, I, well, it makes it easier to see the menu. That's for UI purposes. I love the eye shadow she has on her eyes, but the, uh, yeah. That bat, that bat looks amazing. I love that back design. It's got a little scar thing, a little scar paint on her on her uh, right shoulder. I love that. Uh, in terms of character design, I think it's unique, but uh, I wish it had more colors, a slightly more colors. All black is nice, but uh, I guarantee you, she will look as her presentation. She looks very dull on screen. If I was to make an ad or a market ad for her, she looks very dull on screen. She's not somebody you would put in an advertisement. She doesn't look like a five star. She looks like a four star. Yeah, you're right. You're right. She looks very generic. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I get that. I see that. Uh, it does, in, in this game called PGR, there's no such thing as five star or four star. You have to max them out no matter what. It doesn't matter who you get. Right? They're, they're, they're usually they're pretty free to play friendly, which is a big caveat because they don't make enough money. They can't make good game. They can't make good content because they don't make enough money. If you're free to play friendly, you can't make good content. You can't push out better content because you don't have enough money. So you have to choose your poison. This right here, this is what I'm going to see on the city. This, I love this tech demo. It's a good example of good lighting. Look at all the different colors. And look at all those trees. I love that. The shadows behind the tree leaves. I love the shadow of the tree leaves. By the way, I love this mommy. She's my favorite character out of an entire uh, an entire female cast. She's my favorite. She's very beautiful. And to me, she's very distinct and unique. Um, but the problem I have with her. Guess what? She looks too generic. She looks bad for marketing. If I stuck her. If I was to compare her to Genshin characters, she literally looks like a basic generic person. Yikes. I, I, I wish they add more color, right? I love the purple eyes though. Her purple iris eyes is great. Her character design is good. The details on her outfit is great, but she has no color, right? I don't know what she actually is. There's no determination of what she actually looks, what she does or what she is, right? She's literally a mommy. That's it. That's all we know. She has tattoos. She has a sexy, just sexy gloves on. But yeah, San Hua looks great. I love the eye. Oh, the, her eyes lights up. That's beautiful. I love that. That's good. That's a good detail factor. The background, though. I love the background lighting. All right, this right here, she looks great for advertising. Why? Because of the blue. The blue sticks out really well. The blue sticks out. It looks really good in the environment. That gold, black, brown behind that blue, it looks good. This is a very good color choice also of a blue shade. Very well done. I love it. See the shadow on her boobs, that bottom shadow? Yeah, yes, I'm, I, yes, I did say boobs. Look at her boobs. The bottom shadow of the boobs, well done on the lighting. Good job on the lighting. Whoever animated that, that polygon's on there, good job. Hello, can't hear you. I think her character design is very cute. She's what she's what we call a mechanical plant user, which is very unique. Fengxi. This right here is part of my favorite aesthetic design. 
redheads. I love redheads. If you ever follow me around, my number one waifu is Murata Himiko, made by Honkai Impact. My favorite redhead and my favorite waifu of all time. And sadly, all of my favorite redhead usually uh, they go they go missing. They go missing or KIA, right? You see my other videos. I love redheads. I guarantee you, I will love her trigger. Also, her gameplay is a sword type. She's she's more of a sword user rather than a katana user. So I really love her gameplay. I, we should probably react to her gameplay. After this, I'll react to her gameplay. By the way, I love how her red hair sticks out so much. I think redheads are the best presentation of contrast when you come to show when you advertise stuff for marketing. Oh, she looks very beautiful. Uh, she looks. From her say she's like a blood user, which is pretty unique. Right, she, looks, she literally looks like a blood user. That looks like blood. Which is very funny. I think she, because China, China and blood don't go together. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. This move right here is going to get nerfed, that move. Her character design is beautiful too. It's 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 a tad bit. Oh, so this is the this is the MC. This is the female MC. In terms of female MC, she's, she's very well detailed. I love the net, the net looking T-shirt, uh, tie dye sports bra she's got going on. It's very nice looking. I really love that. Uh, her hairstyle is very unique. I don't think it's good for the uh, marketing standpoint. She looks very um. She looks very stale. In the uh, in the color department, yeah, she, they literally look the same. That transition right there, from her to her, the aesthetics literally look exactly the same. Gray black, gray black gold, gray black gold. Oof. They, they're gonna have to do something about that. Her assets looks really large. When I look at her, I don't think about her boobs being that big. Her boobs are really huge. Wow. I think she's the actual mom. Those boobs are very mommy boobs. Now, this boobs, these are very well. Okay, so we're, so if this game had feedback, this is the character that I have the most feedback on. Biggest issue. She's also my favorite character because she's a great sword user. We're going to look at her animations later on after this. I love her aesthetics. Her assets are very nice. Those are very appealing assets. Everybody, everybody sees it. I like it. I love the cleavage work. I think that's getting nerfed. Uh, so here's the feedback. You notice anything? Look at her hair. It's clipping through her shoulders. Somebody on the um on the rigger side or the collider side, they forgot to add colliders to her hairpiece. That hairpiece should be colliding with her hair and flapping and rolling over to the side of her shoulders. It's clipping inside her shoulder line. So this is the this is what you do for feedback this is what you're looking for right it's not about the gameplay it's not about the um the boss designs or designs it's about the clipping issues it's fighting issues the small details that matter right if i have to look at this background if there's one thing i would fix is probably the ground shadows right there's really no you don't, you don't really see any ground shadows there at all it's really my biggest problem is the ground shadows all right, so we're gonna look at all the gameplay characters. So this is from a actual Billy Billy video from a tester. Uh, he did a decent job at showcasing, but it, this is not how you properly showcase. So if I was to showcase a character, see, okay. I really love this a lot. I love this video so much showcasing this move. This right here is the best angle. You do it in this angle. Right, this is the game. This is the dream game that Kuro Games is trying to create with Rudder and Wade. This is literally the dream game. This is what they're going for. <laughs> See that finishing animation? Good job. I love that. I want to see a. Uh... Yeah. I really love the great sword motion in this game. That's what we call an overhead. That's an overhead move. Jump overhead. A very common move in animator. And there's no other way to do a great sword overhead without making it look weird. I think pole arm is probably the hardest thing to animate. It is all about spins and a lot of momentum base. Right? So let's, so let's take a look real quick. So it's all about spinning and momentum base. It doesn't make sense. And from here, a perfect example, it makes sense. She's spinning, she's creating momentum, 
because your body twerking is turning yourself, turning her body around. And thrusting her body is very important for anime. Thrusting your body is very important. So if we look at this character, okay. the MC has a very nice attack animation. All of her moves, as you saw before from 2B, it all makes sense. It matches. She's creating momentum with her body and torquing her body to create uh, thrust. Genshin Impact doesn't have that movement. Uh, they do actually. They do have. They have thrusting movement. Genshin has a lot of thrusting motions. Uh, look at Shenha. Shen, Shenha or Zara. Or Zara is a pretty good example of a poor harm thrusting movement. Zongli is actually really well done too. I will probably make a Zongli video react. Uh, I will make a Genshin video react for animation. That's very basic. Holy crap. I hope they change that. I hope they change that for the MC. See, she turns her body back and torque her force. She torques to the board a little bit to get the blade out. It makes sense. For quick attacks like that, there's no there's very little torquing, and you just you just move your shoulder block. If you look at the shoulder line, the hardest part is animating the shoulders. When you're doing action moves, you have to animate the shoulders. They have to move. If your shoulders are not moving, it's very bad. It looks janky. There's one thing you cannot you cannot get away from animating is not is the shoulder movement. And then guess what? What is the most important thing about fighting in real life fighting? MMA fighters, what do they pay attention more to the shoulders? They have they have to react to the person's shoulders where they're gonna punch at. By the way, nice move. Nice, uh... I like this move a lot. No, this, this sound effect is not in the game. This this, this, this person that made this video, they, they they made memes. It's a meme. By the way, I just realized her, her hair lights up. Her hair lights up. I didn't realize that until I saw this. I just saw it. Holy crap, that looks so good. That, look, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, that's a basic pose. That looks like they just took a basic action pose, lobby idol pose for that. Very good backflip. Very good backflip. That's a very good backflip. I like that backflip turn. Very well done. By the way, every single one of these animations, these finishing animations, every single one attack, you have to do that. That's the new standard now. And guess what? 99.9% .9 of players don't care about those finishing animations, which sucks. But you have to put them in as an animator. So we waste a lot of time animating those finishing animations. It's sad. Because when you play the game, you don't play the game like this. You never play the game like this. Which is the sad part. <laughs> I love the lead. The lead meme. Oh, it's some sort of... A, oh, that's a team synergy thing. I love that. Alright, so we got Senwa. Sanhua. I, I don't know what's that. How you say it? Sanhua. Sanhua. That spin motion is good. She grabs the sword and goes back. I love this. I love the sword movement. The sword putting it away. Very well done. Floating sword. That's very uh, China like. That's very Chinese. Chinese uh, China like. Floating swords. You want aerial combat in this game? No, you don't want aerial combat in any. You do not want aerial combat in any action game. It's a terrible idea. Action game, action, and an aer aerial combat is a terrible idea. It sounds cool in concept, but you never want to do aerial combat. Not in a game like this. Why is that? AI. Guess what? When you juggle an enemy or fighting enemy AI, what is the most biggest problem? They're going to knock you down. And what is the biggest dissatisfaction? What's the biggest jank? Get knocked down. 
casual gamers don't like when they make Beanie. a mistake and being punished for it when you get knocked down. Nobody likes being punished. In aerial combat, when you get knocked out or get fidget, it's it's very hard to design enemies for aerial combat. Especially if you have to design both air and ground combat, you're literally creating bigger problems for animators. Especially AI based enemies. Very much at that point. By the way, the animation of this, I love this. The Pokemon thing they got going on. She's my favorite character design. I, love, I really love her hair and stuff. My favorite character out of the entire game. Personality wise and design wise. As I said before, and I said it again, more spell circles. I want to see a giant spell circles like Mist again from Fairy Tale. I want to see that in an actual video game. I don't know why we don't have spell circles in mage and casters. Right? Like this spell circle is very basic, right? I want to see like a, a 10 spell circle cast of different colors. Literally a rainbow spell circle. I love the motion. The animation motion is very well done. They did this. And that is on purpose in animation motion. For the clothes fly around, that's on purpose. You see how I float around. Yes! Alright, so we got this nature girl. I love the photography pose. Very nice touch. Sadly, 99.9% .9 players do not care about that. Taking a photograph. I mean, it's great for memes, but, uh, I think, well, people will use it for memes, but, uh, if you're a hardcore gamer, uh, you don't care about that, right? You just hate that. Nobody cares about it. If you're a hardcore gamer, it sucks. It sucks, but that, that, that's the community. That's the gaming community. He put in all this extra effort. These, each one of these treasure party costs like $200,000 to $500,000. Maybe I'm pretty sure there's a lot more. There's a lot more to this actually. But this just this side, right? I think a total each character costs like one million plus. I gotta pay the animator, designer, concept art, TGI. Let's look at her real quick. I love the shot right here. That action move. Right there. That's my favorite. This is my favorite animation out of all the characters. I'm gonna watch this in slow mo. This is my favorite animation out of all the characters in this game. Right. I'm gonna watch this in slow mo. And no sounds. You don't want no sounds on here. All right, slow mo. This is my favorite anime. Okay, that's a that's a side swing, up swing, pose for a power off or a wind up, and then she spins on the ground, spins in the air to create momentum, and then the overhead slam. Literally, just like two B's overhead slam. Literally, in an exact carbon copy of overhead slam. Right there, that's that's what I love to see. This is my favorite move. The whole spinning on the ground thing. And then jumping up, probably peak masterclass animation. That is literally ultimate. It makes sense. It looks good. It looks beautiful to look at. I will love. This is my favorite gameplay. I will guarantee you. I will probably max her out if I could. If I had to wail for it, I will wail for her. Right, just because I love great swords so much. It's so hard to animate great swords because there's only so much you could do. Because you have to make it feel heavy. And you have to make it feel fast at the same time. That right there is the equal of heavy and fast. Right? So let's look at it in an actual motion how fast that really is. The sound too. Bam. Look how long that took. One, two, one, two, three. Wow. That was literally a three second. Oh, 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 oh that's like 1.5. Like 1.5 seconds. I love that armpit pose. Y'all saw that armpit pose? Bam. There you go. Revlon shampoo or deodorant. 
Revlon or Dior, whatever it is. Old Spice Dior. Yes, this right here. Great shot, by the way. Good job on animator. Charge up attacks. Can't have great swords without charge attacks. I hope that does good damage. From a meta gaming standpoint, hardcore, hardcore gamers, that look like it won't do enough damage. From a long term base game. I love the overhead. The overhead's good. It's a carbon copy of uh, Great Sword from Nier Amato. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's the thing with Great Sword. They all do the same. It's very, it's, most Great Swords are technically the easiest to copy because you only do so much. If there's only certain ways you can swing a great sword. Otherwise it looks weird. I love that meme. So alright, so this is her sword gameplay, right? She's not a katana user. That is the Chinese sword stance. I love it. I love it. This is very rare. We really don't have this. Kachin does this actually. Kachin has this stance. I love that twirl. That's a great twirl. Good job, animator. Great job, animator. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. I love that time. The timing on that delay. The slow mo. It's so good. She's visually appeasing to the eyes, despite being a redhead. And that's true. Yeah, they went with dark red because you don't want bright bright red hurts the eyes. It really hurts the eyes with bright red. You have to be careful with red tone, red shading. She has a boob skirt. Yeah, she does. She does. She does have a boob skirt. That's right, chat. You're right, chat. She has a boob skirt. Good job. Catching that. Did not make sense. What she She's just spinning. That's it. I expected way more. Wow, that's very basic. That's not bad. Okay, okay. In my opinion, this character, this character, I think these are the selling points. I'm pretty sure these are the two characters that the whales are going for. These are the two whales. This is the whale target. They want to see what their maximum damage output. She looks like she does a lot of damage, right? I guarantee you the whales or the try hard hardcore gamers, they're gonna max her first. And then from her, I think she's just a whale character. She looks like somebody you will whale for because she looks like she looks important. Compared to the other characters, she looks more important. Right. Compared to her. She looks more important than her. She looks cooler. I will give her a dash. She does look cooler. Her moves look much more acrobatic. But she's basically an acrobatic katana user. For bailing, I think she's probably going to be the worst character by... People are going to see her as terrible in the tier list. Just like a lot of her moves that you see, it's a lot of ranged units. Naturally, ranged units are weaker than melee. Summon units are usually weaker than melee. Usually. I won't say that. Take that as a grain of salt. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Chi Sing? I don't know. She looks pretty good. She looks great for solo play, but, uh. Wait, that's an aim shot. That's funny. Oh, that's the ADS. They have ADS in this game. That, that, that looks funny. That's a funny animation. <laughs> Yang Yang. I'm glad they gave Yang Yang, the main hero in the show, a parry. That means she will forever be used as a solo showcase. For every single new boss that comes out, there will be a solo, a solo showcase of it. She's Larry, Dark Souls' favorite weeb character ever. <laughs> I said that so well. I, I had to come up with that in my at that point. But yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later. Peace.